Hello everybody, this is Bob Caffey, Team Run Smart Pro. I'm gonna to talk to you today about air leaks. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is starting the truck and not being able to move right away because I've got to build air. So this is one of the ways that I check for air leaks. Hang on just a second. The easiest leak to find is one that you can hear. And, uh, but obviously that's gonna be a pretty fast leak. So it's not gonna be just like an overnight uh, air down. So I got an old spray bottle. I went to the, our local Dollar General and got some bubbles that like kids use to, to blow bubbles with. Wrote leak finder bubbles on the bottle. So I just, I just take the, and these are the kind of fittings that we're looking to, looking for the leaks. So right in here is, gonna, is a possible leak area and right here is a possible leak area. So what we do, we just take the squirt bottle and squirt every airline that has a fitting or where it screws into a valve. This happens to be the, the brake valve up, up on the firewall. And the nice thing about the bubble stuff is it'll it'll find where it needs to go it, it'll you know it's water basically soap and water so so it'll slip into locations to uh, that you wouldn't be able to normally get to so this fitting right here has a little bit of air coming out right Right there, there's just very, very tiny bubbles, but that's not really something we worry about. It's generally when they just start blowing bubbles big time, that's when when we need to do something about it. <clears throat> and obviously here on the brake valve, life is good. So down on the air tank, we got, we got an air fitting right there. No bubbles. And then on the back side of the air tank, we have lots of fittings. So there's a mass of fittings coming out of the air tanks with air lines, so lots of connectors. And so all of those just just take the bubbles and squirt all the fittings. And then you can just sit back for a minute and watch for bigger, big bubbles. And apparently there aren't any right there. But every brake valve is gonna have an air, um, a possibility of a leak wherever there's pressure. So repairing them is fairly simple. Let's see. So if I, if I had an air leak on this, you know, if I was gonna replace this fitting right here, first thing I would do is drain the air. And then the beauty of these push lock fittings is there's a possibility that you don't have to replace that fitting. Sometimes you can release the air line, push the, the, the sleeve, just push it in, like I'm doing with my screwdriver here, push it in and then you can just pull the line, the line will just pull right out. Well, once you do that, you can trim a, like a quarter of an inch off of the line, just to, there'll be a, uh, an indent where the o-ring was sitting in the plastic tubing if you trim up past that then you can just basically push the line back in the fitting and it'll lock you know it it locks in by itself and that'll usually take care of the air leak for a while um, if you have the same situation on the same fitting you can change out the fitting 
for a, a ferrule and insert type fitting, which is, that's what this is. And those are almost guaranteed not to leak. But uh, <clears throat> for speed and, and if you just have a, a leak around, around the airline, you know, like I said earlier, in this area, get my little pointer here. If your air leak is here, <clears throat> a lot of times you can just trim off a quarter of an inch of the airline, push it back in there, and all is good. Whenever I whenever I use a push lock fitting like this, I like to use some O-ring lube because there there is an O-ring inside these fittings that seals on the airline, and that's what what will make the indent in the in the airline. So you can put a little O-ring lube on the outside of the airline. You don't want to get the the O-ring grease inside the fitting or inside the brake valve, but you can lube that that airline. And so when you push it back in, it'll lubricate that O-ring to where it'll help seal for the future. But uh, that's how I do it. A little bit of spray soap. You can, you don't have to get bubble soap. You can mix it up, whatever dish soap, like uh, Dawn works really well because it makes good bubbles. And that's what you need. You just need something that makes really good bubbles. If you've got a tire shop close by, you can uh, talk them out of some of the, the soap they use to find leaks in tires. That works really well. But uh, pretty simple, just as I said, if you're gonna replace a fitting that's leaking, make sure you drain your air system completely because there is pressure on there and that air coming out of there can hurt you. So till next time, find them lakes, be safe out there.